Hey guys, it's John Hennessy from Hennessy Performance, and it's been a, a little while since I've done a video to talk about some of our Hennessy Performance product, but I felt like this was a great opportunity, as this is one of our Mammoth 6x6 six six, six wheel drive pickup trucks. Obviously, the Mammoth is based off of the Ram TRX, which has the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 from, from Ram, from Dodge Chrysler Stellantis. And obviously, in the case of our Mammoth 6x6, we've increased that to 1,000 horsepower. So this is actually a very special vehicle, very special to me personally. This vehicle belongs to, we built it for our local dealer here in Houston and Austin, the guys from Rafa Racing. So, so if you're looking for a Mammoth 6x6, a six-wheel drive pickup truck with 1,000 horsepower and all the outrageousness that goes with it, it is for sale from the guys at Rafa. But anyway, for the purposes of today's video, I just wanna go out and drive the truck and give you kind of a driving impression. We're gonna take it out here on our uh, drag strip slash uh, test course, the Pennzoil Proving Grounds here behind our factory in Sealy, Texas, which by the way, I'm actually standing in our Venom F5 uh, manufacturing facility. We've got our design studio upstairs, engineering offices over here, two chassis dynos over this way. And we actually have nine Venom F5s in various states of, uh, of manufacturing and completion here in the factory. So anyway, without further ado, I'll jump in the Mammoth 6x6, go, go drive it a little bit, give you an impression of what a thousand horsepower feels like going through six wheel drive with an approximate curb weight of around 7,000 pounds. But as far as pickup trucks, I don't know that there's a more outrageous pickup truck that you can buy and drive on the street. So we'll go drive a little bit and I'll see you out on the road. So we'll just do a few laps, but so where did the whole idea of the 6x6 come from? So going all the way back to 2009, I think the guys from the, guy, the, the TV show Top Gear America was still in its conceptual stages. We had a customer, a guy that had the, one of the very first Gen 1 wrappers. So maybe two, this is around, the truck might have been a 2009 and this might have been 2008. Guy calls us up and says, hey, I've got a wrapper what can you do to it? And it had a 5.4 liter V8 from Ford. And we said, I don't mind. We don't know what we can really do to it. Bring the vehicles to us. And I thought, why would anybody want to modify one of those? It's designed for going off road, but I'm like, okay, making fast cars and trucks faster. That's what we do. So I said, send it. I had our guys fabricate a custom twin turbo system for it. I think we ended up using some takeoff Nissan GTR intercoolers up in the nose and small turbos put the truck we put the truck on the chassis dyno it made i don't know 630 640 horsepower to the wheels put the video out on our youtube channel didn't think much about it a week later we get a phone call from uh one of the producers for top gear america said hey look we would like to use one of your velociraptor trucks for uh, a video that we're doing we're going to have tanner faust racing across the desert racing against a guy uh that's doing a high altitude uh, parachute jump, a halo jump. Anyway, so all of a sudden we started modifying um, the Gen 1 Raptor and came out with our Velociraptor package, you know, coming out with a supercharged package for the Gen 1 Raptor trucks and had success with that. Well, then when the Gen 1 truck went away in 2014, we're like, well, darn, that was kind of a bummer. This is kind of a bummer. The, the, the Raptor seemed to be really popular and was something, it was one of our more popular vehicles to modify at the time. Then we heard rumors of a Gen 2 that were coming. And so in mid to late 2016, we knew that the Gen 2 Raptor was coming with the EcoBoost V6, the twin turbo. And so I was looking for a way to like, how do we remind our fans, our, our customers, that we built the Velociraptor and we're gonna continue that program for the Gen 2. And so I was sitting at home on my couch, watching football on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon. I thought, what's something outrageous that we could put out there that, you know, maybe we'd, we would build a few, but I'm sitting there on the couch and I thought, what was that crazy, uh, what was that crazy six wheel drive truck that Mercedes built? 
the AMG 6x6 and I thought, I wonder if we could do something like that. So I had one of our designers render it up and we put it out there and lo and behold, we got a couple of orders. So just kind of want to kind of give you that backstory. We'll talk how that evolves into this after we make a quarter mile hit here. So I'm not going to put it into launch mode, but I'm just going to foot brake it. So ready, set. on your trike just going freaking nuts have your little you know your little clothing line clip with your little playing card on there and making all the noise like all that noise it makes me feel like I'm eight years old and I'm freaking I'm a total hooligan I'm gonna get in total freaking deep shit with my mom or my relatives or my teacher back when I was a kid but anyway this is the, this is what this type of a vehicle evokes it's like a freaking modern five hundred thousand dollar Tonka truck from hell um, it's just so ridiculous. It's so over the top. It's just a lot of fun, but that's that's what we do I tell people all the time. We're really not in the automotive business. We're not in the performance business We're really in the entertainment business and so anyway back to story time with trucks and how did we end up with the six by six so um, We sold we had a couple of orders for the Velociraptor six by six based on the Raptor truck uh, it Took us about a year to complete the first one. I think since then we've probably built and delivered around 25 of those and so again as the ram t-rex is forthcoming and we're starting to think about well, how do we add more performance how do we improve the truck uh certainly we had to render the six the six by six version of it and um put that out there and i think maybe this one for the guys at rafa this is maybe our fourth or fifth one that we built and we have more more production and uh again it's an expensive truck but there's really there's really nothing like it. Something we're very excited about, the most powerful six-wheel truck uh, in the world, as far as I know. Um, obviously, now that the Raptor R is out, we'll most likely have a uh, Velociraptor 6x6 version of that supercharged V8. So, so pick, your, pick your poison, pick your venom. Um, you know, there really are no bad choices. The, the Mammoth 6x6, Velociraptor 6x6, if you're looking for something really outrageous, really a lot of fun, that takes a 60 year old guy like me and immediately turns me into a kid again, this is that vehicle. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Smash the like and subscribe button if you haven't already done it, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.